Hyperion Flux, to start, just a couple of words about your impressions from this TI. Uh, bigger and better than last year, unbelievable. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people are saying that Benaroya Hall was a nicer venue, more intimate, but um, you can't argue, people want to come and see Dota and the atmosphere is fantastic, so we're having a great time. Okay, great, and uh, tell us something about uh, the innovation of this, you've been released this year, mm. about movie cast. Okay, yeah, so I know none of you guys, you guys are all 9k MMR players, but if you're new to Dota, this is the, there you go, this is the place to come, the newbie cast. And what we do is, we explain Dota right from the very beginning. What are towers, what are creeps, everything. Because unsurprisingly, there's a lot to learn about Dota. And a lot of people are kind of intimidated, they don't know where to begin, it seems like so much. And watching a high level game of Dota, sometimes you don't appreciate the skill and you think, why was this so good? Like, why did this? Why did everybody go nuts about this play? So it's nice to have someone there. We'll say, okay, this is why this was so good, and this is what was so hard about this. And it's. I mean, we have people that really know Dota enjoying watching the cast anyway. And whose idea was that? And how do you think was it successful? Um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of Valve approached uh, us and said we'd like to have a newbie cast this year. It's something we talked about before about having a more casual cast introduction but um so yeah this year they just said hey we'd love you guys to do it and we were like cool so i mean purge obviously teaches people dota for a living um we had to adapt a little bit we cast normally a lot you know it's very different from a normal cast you can't use a lot of abbreviations like you can't say bkb because people don't know what a bkb is so yeah there's a lot more to it it's difficult yeah what do you think about a uh, caster's lineup like who? The casting lineup. I think it's really good. Um, I like the way they've got a different host desk for the different languages. Uh, we've met all the different casters because we're all sort of in this part of the, the key arena, so it's nice to go and meet them and talk to them. Uh, I, I would love to do more meetings and stuff with the other language casters. We don't really know the Chinese casters, the Russian casters, but we kind of get to meet them. But, you know, it would be great to be able to hang out with them and sort of have some kind of team bonding thing. All the casters getting together and hanging out, that would be good. And how do you communicate with your viewers? What kind of feedback are you getting? Well, we have a, like Twitter, so hashtag new to Dota. We get people to ask us questions. And I'll tell you something else. We, you know, uh, we have the Twitch chat for the newbie stream. There are people in there who have just been answering questions the whole time, just helping people out. So people who are new to Dota will ask a question in the chat saying, who is this hero? And people will give them these long detailed answers. So it's really good that it's all been a real sort of team effort. It's been great. And um, to the end of this interview, your announcer is quite popular in Russia and in Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, was it your idea to create it? And who helped you to, to make a scenery for, for that? Um, well, actually, yeah, Valve said to me, we'd like you to make an announcer. And I thought, okay. And I thought they were going to help me do it. But they just said, okay, off you go. And I was like, oh, so I had to do it all myself, the recording and everything like that. But it was their idea. Um, and they helped me loads. But I thought I had to record it at home, had to write it all myself and everything like that. I'm glad it's popular in Russia. I know that uh, my videos are kind of popular in Russia. Someone translated them all into Russian. So I wish I spoke Russian. I really do, because it would be so cool. But I don't, sadly. And can you tell us something? A couple of phrases of your answer. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Rock on, Tommy. People like that one for some reason. What's the other one? Someone always asks me to say this one. Uh, oh, I haven't, I haven't got my harmonica with me, but people love the harmonica one as well, and the xylophone. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for your time. Thank and you. Yeah, enjoy the international. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye.